Kirby Rumpanut was born in India. Remote village where everyone knew each other. They pretty much looked out and raised each other. So close to each other meant they had no privacy, but the good thing was they had a strong support system in place. You could go over to your neighbor and get some sugar when you needed it. Many hungry nights his dad begged his neighbors for some leftovers. Kirby didn't know this he was a happy-go-lucky kid focused on girls. Typical. His family was of modest means, fancy they were not. They were born to a lower caste, and they were not going to escape that. You were stuck with that stigma for life no getting away from it. His father, Patai Rumpan attended sheep in the big Ransjar farm. Ransjar ran everything in this town he employed everyone so he was the big man on campus. Everyone tried to suck up to him. He was a tough man, stern disciplinarian. It was tough work, but he had to do what he had to do to put food on his son's plate. His mother Chopa stayed home and took care of household duties. Made sure Kirby was well fed and had clean clothes to wear to school. Sometimes Patai went without food so his son could have a good meal. They mostly did without anything fresh water, clothes or food. But for a boy of modest means Kirby had a big imagination. Staying up late at night he dreamt of America. He wanted to go to America and live the American dream. His family never exposed him to American culture, but he gravitated to it. Big house, nice cars and a family to settle down with. That was his future he predicted. He was fascinated with American culture listening to rock and roll watching the big blockbuster movies. He knew the Rolling Stones and the Beatles' entire catalog picked up and read Rolling Stone religiously. His family preferred the Bollywood movies, but he could never get interested in that. He loved seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger blow things up and save the day. His father tended sheep his mother tended the house. Like many people of Indian heritage they stressed the importance of education. His father told him son you must get an education, only way you will get ahead my son. He had big dreams go to America and live the American dream. Kirby was not interested in school he got mediocre grades and paid no attention in class. School was a place for him to hang out with friends and chase girls. It was announced one day they would have a lottery to send ten kids to America on an education scholarship. Ten kids chosen stochastically. Kirby was so excited his chance to live the dream. He read the rules printed on the school bulletin and went gome and told his parents. They did not know if they wanted him to go. They were scared their little boy would get killed or beaten in America. Kirby's mom Chopa told him no we will not let you go to America. It's too dangerous over there. Too much hate and xenophobia. His dad chimed in if the boy wants to go let him go. Why do you always go against me she said. I say one thing you want to contradict me is not about you is not about going against you is it the boy's life. He must do as he pleases. He screamed at her. Angry for not realizing their little boy was now a man. He cannot do as he pleases he is still a child not knowing to the ways of the world. You can love your life based on fantasy. Those things you see on the screen are not real. Mom don't worry about me. I'm going to be big everyone will know my name. All right then she said because it was a long shot he will be selected anyway. She knew how these things work. It was all rigged. She let him go live out his crazy fantasies. Give do your homework she advised him. The next day in class everyone was excited to see who would be the lucky one to get out and go to America. The drawing was to be after class but that was a mistake as no one could concentrate not even the teachers. After a few attempts they discarded the lesson plan and went straight to talking about the lottery. They all were talking about what they would do most if not all involved becoming big-time movie stars and living it big. Even the teachers wished they could trade places and go make it in America. After all was settled down and the time had come they called out the names Kirby could not believe his surprise when his was the first name called out. He jumped for joy he could not believe his luck. The other nine names were called in quick succession not giving anyone a chance to celebrate. After class everyone congratulated Kirby as if he had been the only one that won. 
His was the first name so he had gotten the most notoriety the others had quickly fallen by the wayside by the time it was all done. He went straight home and told his parents' mom, Dad I won I am going to America. Oh my said his mother she was against the whole thing she did not want to lose her seventeen-year-old son. Her little baby. I will not stand in your way if you want to go then I will five you my blessing said his mother, Patai patter her on the back grateful his wife had come along. Okay son get ready when do you go out? They are giving us a week we will land in Boston, Massachusetts. They will place us in school and give us jobs. Great attaboy said his father beaming with pride. The whole week was a nervous wreck for Kirby as his so-called friends and classmates showed their hostility and jealousy. It showed as they turned their backs on him and stopped speaking to him. He didn't deserve the trip his family was poor and Kirby was not a good student, what had he done to distinguish himself for that prize? His best friend Arad Amin was a better student, straight A's and he captained the cricket team. Why didn't he win the lottery? The last few days were tough for him saying goodbye to the love and support he had. He was going to miss everything his little hut, school everything he had grown accustomed to. But this was his big day. When that day finally arrived he could not believe it. He thought it was all a dream. He got up that day like he usually did and asked his mother is this America thing real? You are getting scared she said hoping he would reneged on the whole thing. No no scared I can't believe is real. I am so lucky and happy he told her. His parents were going to drive him to the airport. He got in the car driving his parents crazy the whole trip. He got to the airport and it hit him everything he was leaving behind. His family, friends as he mounted the plane he gave his parents a hug and shed a tear. He was happy and sad cause man this was his big day.